Hey everybody, it's time for Stratomatic Baseball. Spokane Steve here with you. May 4th, 1966, we've got the Kansas City Athletics at the California Angels. Fred Talbot will take the mound for Kansas City. As you can see, he would be traded to the New York Yankees later this season. Dean Chance will be pitching for the Angels. And greetings, Kenyon Gray. Hope your afternoon is going well, sir. Kansas City comes in at 8-7. Uh, the Angels at 4-12, and 12, and boy, are they in a tailspin. They've lost six in a row and nine of their last ten. So they're looking to get straightened out today with their ace, Dean Chance, on the mound. For Kansas City, they find themselves only three and a half games out of first place, trailing first place Baltimore Orioles. Let's look at the pitchers for today. Talbot, 11-11, 4.36 in real life, 30 starts. Chance, 12-17, but don't let that record fool you. 3.08 ERA in 37 starts, 260 innings of work. Let's check the, uh, the replay stats and see what these guys have done. Talbot's been magnificent for Kansas City in three starts. He's 2-0 with a 1.77 ERA, placing him among the American League leaders. In 20 and a third innings, he surrendered only 13 hits. So Talbot off to a very nice start. Chance in five starts is 2-2 two two with a 4.5 ERA, 4.50. He has one complete game. It is a shutout. He's worked 34 innings, allowed 32 hits and struck out 19. So that's your starting pitchers. And hey, it's a Friday. So happy Friday, everyone. The weekend upon us again. I'll give you the Kansas City batting order, and then we'll set the Angels for you defensively. Bert Campy Campaneris will be leading off. Manny Jimenez, this card, of course, just to a place marker. Here's the computer-only Manny Jimenez card, which most of you are familiar with. He bats second today. Billy Bryan, the catcher, hits third. Larry Stalls in the cleanup spot. Jose Tartable, who is batting near the top of the order, hits fifth. Wayne Causey, sixth. Ken Harrelson, seventh. And Dick Green, who had been the cleanup hitter for the last several games, hits eighth, which makes me wonder, did Alvin Dark just pull this lineup out of a hat? I mean, this is a completely different batting order for Kansas City. Talbot hitting ninth. Uh, setting the Angels for you defensively, of course, Buck Rogers will be catching chance. The infield, Norm Seaburn at first, Bobby Knopp at second. Jim Fergosi at shortstop and Paul Shaw at third. The outfield left to right of Ed Kirkpatrick. Rick Reichart, that's right, Reichart's back in center field again. And Jackie Warner in right. So that's about all the news and notes I have for you. Chance has completed his warm-ups. Well, we can check the real-life game, I suppose. It was a Wednesday night game, just over 8,000 at the Big A. So here's Bert Campanera stepping in now. Campy hitting 220, no home runs, six RBIs. He has scored 10 runs, largely on the basis of six stolen bases without being caught. And good afternoon to Ben, glad to see you. Chance gets the sign from Rogers. Here's the first pitch of the game to Campanera. That's going to be a 1-7 right-handed, a fly ball into left field. That's playable for Kirkpatrick. Glides over and puts it away, one down, and we're underway here. The Friday game. Of course, you know, when you're retired, we've talked about this before, it doesn't really matter all that much. Of course, I'll go visit my mom and sister tomorrow. Tomorrow, my sister's birthday. Oh, outstanding news, Ben. Oh, I'll tell you what, you're going to get so much enjoyment out of that. 
Did you get the extra cards or was that necessary on that set? Here's Jimenez now, computer only card. Jimenez hitting just 043. He is one for 23 on the season. No RBIs. They keep running him out there. Of course, we've talked about Manny Jimenez extensively over the course of this replay so far. And there's Jack Brooks from a warm and sunny and rainy Long Island. Rainy and sunny. <laughs> That's quite a combination. Glad to have you, Jack. Here's Jimenez now. Chance going to the pitch. That's going to be a 4-7 to the lefty. And he walks in. So a one-out walk to Jimenez. Jimenez not a threat to run. This pitcher's card is simply a placeholder for the Jimenez card. So that I don't get confused. Or at least not any more confused than I already am. And here's Billy Bryan, the catcher. Bryan comes in at 174. He has one home run, three RBIs. Chance now working from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Bryan. That's going to be a 2-4 against the righty, a fly ball to right field. Warner takes a few steps back and puts it away, two down. And that'll bring up Larry Stahl. Stahl playing right field and batting cleanup today. Stahl has not played much so far this season. He's just 5 for 21, 238 with one RBI. Left-handed hitter. Chance gets the sign now from the stretch. That's going to be a 3-3 three, three right-handed. It's a grounder down to third base. Paul Shaw has, has it and throws to Seaburn. And that will retire the side. So no runs, no hits, one left on for the Athletics in the first. We go to the bottom of the first. Athletics, nothing. Angels coming to bat. And while Fred Talbot takes his warm-ups, I'll give you the Angels batting order. Same as last game, actually. It'll be Paul Shaw leading off. Jim Fregosi in the two spot. Bobby Knopp hits third. Norm Seaburn will bat cleanup. Rick Reichardt in the five spot. Jackie Warner hits sixth. Ed Kirkpatrick in the seventh spot. Bob Buck Rogers, the catcher, hits eighth. And Dean Chance batting ninth. Setting Kansas City defensively for you, Billy Bryan will be catching Talbot. The infield from first base over is Harrelson at first, Green at second, Campy at short, and Wayne Causey down at third with the outfield left to right of Manny Jimenez, Jose Tartable, and Stahl. Yeah, Ben, no doubt. Don't even remind me. It's already 20 years old. It's funny, I was talking to a, a long time, probably my best friend, well, definitely my best friend. I've, I've known Eric for over 50 years. We grew up on the same street. And our conversations usually center around baseball and music. And I was saying, you know, I still call anything that came out in 2000 new music. <laughs> yeah, it's a new album. It's, it's only 23 years old. Talbot getting ready to work here. Lead off will be Paul Shaw. Shaw steps in. Let's find his stats on the season. He comes in batting 264, two home runs, three runs batted in. He also leads the team in walks with 11. Talbot, the righty, gets the sign from Bryan. Here's the lineup. The pitch to Paul Shaw, a 310 right handed fly ball to right field. Stalls right there to make the catch, one down. And here's Jim Fregosi. Fregosi comes in. Where is he? Oh, yeah, he's way up there. Fregosi comes in batting 313. One home run, nine RBIs. His three triples also places him among the league leaders in that category. From Talbot, that's a 6-6 six, six to the right-hander. Swung on and missed strike three. So Fergosi down on strikes, two down. 
And here's Bobby Knopp, the slick fielding second baseman. Comes into the game hitting just 164. One home run, two RBIs. Talbot into the windup now. Pitch to Knopp, a 5-8 right-handed as a ground ball to second base X. That'll be Dick Green, a 2-E-19. I certainly remember Green's excellent fielding from the Oakland A's days. Here's the roll on the play. It's going to be the E rating. It's an 11 on a 19, and he boots it. Oh, my. Error Dick Green, and Knopp is aboard. That'll bring up Norm Seaburn, the cleanup batter. Seaburn has struggled this season. He is just 3 for 40 on the season so far. That's 075 batting average and only one RBI. So the Angels really could use, needless to say, a lot more production from their cleanup hitter. Talbot from the stretch now. The pitch to Seaburn on a 1-4, grounder to second. Green has it smoothly over to Harrelson, and that'll do it. The Angels, no runs, no hits, one left on. There was an error. And we're scoreless after an inning of play. So kick back, spend part of your Friday afternoon with me, or early evening, I guess, if you're in the East. Boy, isn't it true, Ben? And absolutely, Kenyon. Yeah, Chance was a, a very good pitcher for quite a few years. This is a good season. This isn't even one of his best seasons. Nice ratio of hits allowed. He walked a few too many that year. The strikeouts were still pretty strong. Here's Tartable now to lead it off for Kansas City. He was batting second. For some reason, he's batting fifth today. He leads the team in hitting, and he's among the league leaders, batting an even 400, 24 for 60. He does not have a home run, but he does have 12 RBIs. And here's the pitch for Dean Chance. That's going to be a 6-9 to the right-hander. Swung on and missed strike three, and down goes Tartable. And that's Chance's first K of the ball game. And that'll bring up Wayne Causey, the third baseman. Causey comes in at 233. No homers, five RBIs. Chance gets his sign. Now here's the pitch to Causey. It's going to be a 1 3 right handed, a tapper down to first base. Seaburn will take it himself. And quickly there are two down in the second. Here's Hawk Harrelson now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Harrelson comes into the game at 279. No home runs, only one RBI out of the Hawk. Kansas City only has three home runs as a team. And this is their 16th game of the season. They're batting 256 as a team, which is decent. Compared to the Angels hitting only 214 as a team. But they have 17 home runs. Over five times as many <laughs> as Kansas City. And even 17 isn't a lot for this many games. This is their 17th game. Chance ready to work to Harrelson with two down. Here's the pitch. It's a 1-12, and he walks him. Ball four. Harrelson will take his base. Harrelson, great speed. A star 18 stealer. Just an average runner at 1 through 13, but he's a star 18 in chance with a terrible hold, plus 7. Rogers minus 2 can't even affect that. Since plus 5 or minus 5 is the most you can have, so he'd be a 20. He'll have to be held on, making him a 16. No, an 18, excuse me. He's a 20 held on, an 18. Well, 18, he's going to try for it. Four or five. Five, he's got it. Here he goes. Rogers throw and just barely on an 18. Oh, my. He is safe. Rogers fires it down to Knopp. Knopp thinks he had him. 
The umpire is saying no, he's safe. And that's a stolen base for Hawk Harrelson. I think that might be his first of the season. Let's take a look. No, he has one, and he's been caught one. So he's now two out of three. The next pitch to Dick Green. 6-8 right-handed, a grounder to short. That's for Gosey. He'll make the play and retire the side. No runs to hit, one left. And we are still scoreless. Talbot getting ready to go to work here in the bottom of the inning. Rick Reichart will be leading it off for California. Reichart comes in at 286, four home runs, seven RBIs. His four home runs, second on the ball club to Jackie Warner. Talbot gets his sign from Brian. Here's the pitch. It's a 4-10 right-handed, and he walks him. So the leadoff walk to Reichardt. Reichardt himself a star 15 stealer, but Talbot a minus two. Let's check the battery. Brian a plus three. Ouch, that hurts. So it'll be a plus one. 16, held on, he's a 14. 70% with Warner up. They're going to let Warner hit, and I'll tell you why. Warner comes into this game leading the Angels in all offensive categories. 346 average, seven home runs, which is tied for the American League lead, and 12 runs batted in. So they will not risk anything. Runner held. They won't risk a runner being thrown out with Jackie Warner at the plate. Talbot from the stretch. Pitch to Warner on a 2-5. He walks him. Back-to-back -back walks to start off the second inning. And Talbot suddenly struggling with his control as Ed Kirkpatrick steps to the plate. Left-handed hitter. Kirkpatrick hasn't played much this year. He's been in 10 games, and he's just 1 for 20. Infield at double play depth now. Talbot from the stretch. Pitch to Kirkpatrick, a 1-8. Fly ball to center field. Playable for Tartable. He's right there to make the catch, and that's the first out of the inning. And here's Bob Rogers, the catcher. Rogers comes into the game just 125. One run batted in. Another angel off to a very slow start. What did he do in real life? Well, 236. Seven home runs. So not great, but he certainly should be better than, you know, one for 20. <laughs> one out, first and second. Double play depth. Halbert from the stretch. It's the Rogers. Left switch hitter batting left. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Ground ball to first. Harrelson smothers it. His only play is to flip to Talbot covering, and both runners will move up. So a ground ball C to first base. Two down, and the pitcher will come to bat. Dean Chance. Right-handed hitter, a 1-W. Talbot looking to get out of the inning here. And here's the pitch to Chance. It's a 3-10, grounder to third. Causey over to Harrelson, and that'll do it. No runs to hit, two left. Okay, testing, testing. Can anyone hear me? Looks like I lost internet there for a minute. And it looks like we are working. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I lost my internet. So here's Manny Jimenez, two out, nobody on. Left-handed hitter. Chance to wind up in the pitch is a 6-7 left-handed. Grounder to second base X. That'll be Bobby Knopp. About as good as you can be at a 1-E-17. Here's the play. On a 6, he's got it. Throws him out. 1-2-3 inning for Chance. So 4-3-X. 1-2-3 goes Kansas City.
And we're still scoreless, moving to the bottom of the third. Top of the order due up for California. Paul Shaw to start things off. He flew to right his first time up today. Talbot gets the sign now. The wind up, the pitch to Shaw. That's going to be a 2 8 right handed. He struck him out. Shaw's second K of the game. I mean, Tal, excuse me, Talbot's. <laughs> Talbot second K. K of the game. I have panicked for a second when I lost. One out walk to Fregosi. Third walk issued by Talbot already. And Fregosi a star 16 stealer. Minus two plus one. That'll add one, a 17. He'll be held on where he'll be a 15. And with Knopp coming up, he's going to try for that one to 15. He needs two through five or 12. On a nine, he does not establish a good lead. With one out, Knopf will swing away. Here's the next pitch to Knopf. That's going to be a 5-8 right-handed. Grounder to second base edge. This could be two. Green, a 2-E-19. Here's the play. He's got it to Campy. Oh, my goodness. To first double play, and look at that. What a play by Dick Green. It's a freaking web gem. An average fielder would not have stopped that ball. Green, a diving stop behind the bag, flips to Campy, back to Harrelson, and that will retire the side on a 4-6-3-X web gem. Holy cow, what a play. And we're still scoreless through three complete. Both pitchers on their game. Here's Billy Bryan to lead it off as we move to the fourth. Bryan flew out to right his first time up. Chance now getting the sign from Rogers. Here's the wind up and the pitch. That's going to be a 2 5 right handed. Struck him out. So Bryan down on strikes. Second K of the game for Chance. And here's Larry Stahl. Stahl 0 for 1, grounder to third. Chance gets the sign now. Here's the windup in the pitch. That's going to be a 4-5 left-handed fly ball into right field. That's Warner backing up a few steps and makes the catch two down. Two out, nobody on, and here's Jose Tartable. The left-hander struck out his first time against Chance. Chance gets his sign now. Here's the pitch. On a 2-8 right-handed, triple to 14. That's going to be down for extra bases. Reichardt picking it up. Tartable in round second, and he'll hold with a long double. Triple to 14 on a 17. A two-out double for Jose Tartable. His sixth double of the season. So Tartable with great speed and scoring position for Wayne Causey, two away. Causey bounced to first his first time up today. Chance checks his runner now. The pitch to Wayne Causey. A 3-7 right-handed fly to right. That's playable for Warner. Drifts to his right a bit and makes the catch to retire the side. So no runs, a hit, one left. The first hit of the ball game, by the way. And we're still scoreless, moving to the bottom of the fourth. Norm Seaburn will lead it off for California. Seaburn grounded to second his first time up. Talbot into the windup. That's going to be a 5 8 left handed grounder to second base X. That's Green again. Green's busy down there today. 2 E 19. Here's the play on a 14. He's got it and throws him out. 
And Norm Seaburn's struggles continue. 4-3-X, he's 0-2 today, came into the game. As mentioned previously, just 3 for 40, 075, and that's gone down from there. One away, and here's Reichardt. Reichardt walked his first time up. Talbot into the windup. Picks to Reichardt. That's a 110 right handed high fly ball to deep left field. Back goes Jimenez to the track. It's gone. Home run, Rick Reichardt. First hit for the Angels, first run of the ball game, and they take a one to nothing lead on Reichardt's fifth home run of the season. Let's take another look at it. 110. Homer to 17 on a 13. It's gone. So Reichardt rounds the bases. Crowd uh, setting off some fireworks there. Setting off some fireworks for the crowd, I should say. <laughs> And it's a happy home crowd at the moment. And here comes Jackie Warner. He also walked in the second inning. Talbot gets his sign now. Here's the pitch to Warner. Four or five right hand, and it's a fly ball into right field. That's Stahl. Drifts over towards the line and gloves it for the out. Two away, and it'll be Ed Kirkpatrick now. Kirkpatrick flew to center his first time up. Talbot into the windup. Pitch to Kirkpatrick is a 6-6 lefty. He walks him. Ball four. Kirkpatrick will take his base. He's a star 15 stealer. 16 not held. He will be held on, making him a 14. And with two outs, he's going to try for it. Two through six or twelve. Six, he's got it. Here he goes, one to fourteen. The throw from Brian, he's stolen it. So Ed Kirkpatrick with a stolen base. That'll put him in scoring position with two down. And here's the next pitch to Rogers. 110 right handed, tap her down to first. Harrelson feeds Talbot covering, and that will do it. So they leave a man, but they score the first run of the game on the Rick Reichardt home run. And after four innings complete here at the Big A, it's California 1, Kansas City nothing. And how about that? We've got ourselves another pitcher's duel. <laughs> Imagine that. God, I loved baseball in the 60s. And the 70s. Oh, yeah, is that so? Let's, let me check that. Oh, yeah, you're right, Ben. He's going to wind up on Boston. Most of you guys know this, but I'll point out that the team name on the card is always the team they finished the season with. <laughs> Bottom of the order for Kansas City as we move to the fifth. Harrelson to lead it off. Walked, stole second, and was stranded there in the second inning. Chance into the windup. Here's the pitch. It's a 3-10 right hand. It's a base hit up the middle. Hawk Harrelson with a leadoff single, and he's been on base both times today. Star 18 Steeler, again with Chance's terrible hold, he'd be a 20 not held. He's an 18 held, and he's going to try for it. He's already stolen one base today. He needs a 4 or a 5. Dick Green standing in now. Trying for that lead, 4 or 5. He does not get the good lead. And here's the next pitch to Green. 111 right-handed. is a base hit into right field. That's an open single. Harrelson rounding. Warner a plus one, Harrelson a 13 to third, 15, plus one, 16, and California will cut it off. 
So Harrelson goes into third. Angels cut off the throw, holding Green to first base. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Talbot. Talbot and A. Bunner. So the Angels are going to pull the infield in here, partly because of the A. Bunner and partly because of the runner at third. Talbot's going to lay it down to stay out of the double play. You can see a five on a B. Successful sacrifice bunt. Runner on third holds, of course, but Green moves into scoring position. On a perfectly executed sacrifice bunt by Fred Talbot. So that'll put two runners in scoring position, one down, and here's Campy Campaneras, Manny Jimenez on deck. Campy's 0 for 2 today. Infield in. The pitch from Chance. 2 7 right handed. Fly ball to center field. B question mark. Harrelson can tag up on that. Reichardt's in center. He's a plus 1. Harrelson 13 plus 2 for tagging. 15 plus 1, 16. He's going to tag. Here he comes. Here comes the throw. 1 to 16. And he's out at the plate. Holy cow, can you believe that? And that's how the inning ends. Fly to center, double play. Harrelson gunned down at the plate. A fine throw by Rick Reichardt to end the inning. So the Athletics end up with nothing on two hits. Oh, yeah, the real score, Ben. Once in a while, they, they'll mirror each other. Most of the time, though, it's just a whole different ball game. So Kansas City had a really good chance to tie it up there in the top of the fifth. They were unable to. With Jimenez due up, he had to go for it. Dean Chance will lead off the bottom of the fifth for the Angels. Right-handed batter. The pitch from Talbot. It's a 6'10 right-hander. Fly to center. Uh, uh, sorry, fly to left field and shallow. Fly ball C. Jimenez coming in and makes the catch. One down. And here's Shaw now. Shaw's 0 for 2 today. Talbot gets his sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. It's a 6 5 right handed. It's a grounder down to third. Two hopper. Kazi has it across to Harrelson. And Shaw is retired. <clears throat> with two out and nobody on, Jim Fergosi will step to the plate. 0 for 1 with a walk. Here's the pitch now from Fred Talbot. 3-5 <clears throat> right-handed. It's a base hit into left field for Fergosi, a two-out single. 3-5 to 19. The roll is a four. Fergosi will have to be held on. 17 held on. He's a 15. And he'll try to get into scoring position for Knopp. Two through five or 12. Nine. He does not establish a good lead. And here's Talbot's next offering to Bobby Kanon. 5-5 five, five, right-handed. Tapper down to third. It's Kazi again. Throws across in time, and that will retire the side. No runs a hit, one left. We're through five at the Big A. It is Angels 1, Athletics nothing. Chance getting ready to work now. Manny Jimenez. Oh, excuse me. Let me get a drink of water. Manny Jimenez will lead it off for Kansas City. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, that's better. I think. Jimenez 0 for 1 with a walk. Chance gets his sign. Now, here's the windup and the pitch. On a 5 8 left handed fly to center field, it's playable for Reichardt. He's there to make the catch one down. <clears throat> That'll bring up Billy Bryan. Billy, the left-handed hitting catcher, 0 for 2 today. Chance gets the sign from Rogers. Now here's the pitch. A 6-7 left-handed grounder to second base X. That's Knopp, a 1-E-17. Knopp ranging behind the bag. Error rating. The roll is an 8 on an E-17. Knopp has it. And throws him out. Nice play, Knopp. So Brian retired 4-3-X, two down, and here's Larry Stahl. Stahl 0 for 2 today. Chance getting a new ball. Rubs it up. Gets the sign from Rogers. The wind up and the kick. 4-9, left-handed, single to two, and on a three, just misses that. That liner is speared by a diving Seaburn. Oh, my goodness, what a play by Norm Seaburn. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Chance. Holy cow, Stahl ripped a missile down there. 4-9, 1-2, on a three, Seaburn just barely got the glove on it. And we're going to the bottom of the sixth. Still a one nothing ball game. These close games, the tension really starts mounting as you approach the late innings. And here's Norm Seaburn to lead it off for the Angels in the bottom of the inning. Talbot an S6 for endurance. So this would be his first inning of potential fatigue. As Seaburn stands in from the left side, he's 0 for 2 today. He's bounced to second twice. <laughs> I'm laughing at Kenyon. I don't even know whether they played him there. You already know that, Kenyon. Talbot the windup receiver. It's a 3-8 right-handed high fly ball to deep right field. Stall backing up just shy of the track. Puts it away. So on a 3-8, homer to 2. The roll is a 10 and it's just a loud out to right for Norm Seaburn. One away and here's Rick Reichart now. Reichart walked and homered. His homer, of course, the only run in this ball game so far. Talbot gets the sign. Here's the windup. The pitch to Reichardt. It's going to be a 1-11. It's a high flight at deep left field. Jimenez backing up on the track. Makes the catch for the out. So Reichardt, another deep fly ball. Got under that one a bit, but he hit it well. But it's just allowed out to left, and there's two down. And here's Jackie Warner. 0 for 1 with a walk. Somehow, this little car is just having a marvelous season. He only batted 211 in real life. He did have seven home runs and 123 at bats, but again, he came into this game at 346, an American League leading seven home runs. And of course, at some point in May, he's going to crash into the right field wall and be injured. And he would never be the same again. So it's kind of a shame we won't get to see this little card play out. But it's safe to say this is not a card that would bat 346. The home runs are there. Talbot the windup. Six to Warner. That's going to be a 6-7 righty fly to center field. Tartable backs up a bit. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Talbot. Let's see here. Tartable's one for two with a double. We'll tell you what, Kenyon. Rick Reichardt's certainly the best center fielder today. Ha, 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 ha.
We go to the seventh. And before we do, I'm going to get a little refill on my coffee. This will only take a minute. on that one. That's been in the carafe a while. So we'll go ahead and start the seventh. Here's Tartable. One for two with a double. Chance, an S7 for endurance. So this would be his first inning of potential fatigue as well. And here's the windup and the pitch to Tartable. On a 4-7 left-handed, he walks him. Lead off walk to Tartable. And you know that's not what he wanted to do. Is Tartable a star 19, 20 not held, held he's an 18. And he's going to be trying for that lead. Two through five or 12. 11, he does not establish a good lead. What would he be on the second number? The most you can add is five. So 18 minus four, four. he's still one through 14 on his back number. What the hell? I haven't stolen on a back number yet. The pitch to Cosby. There goes Tartable. Throw down. He's stolen it on his second number. How about that? It's a stolen base. Tartable. That's his seventh steal of the year. He has not been caught once. Next pitch to Kazi. That's a 3-4 right-handed. Comebacker. Chance has it, looks at the runner, and throws to first. And with one away, it'll be Ken Harrelson. Harrelson walked and singled. Trying to pick up Tartable at second. Tartable with blazing speed. Chance checks the runner now from the stretch. 3-7 right-handed right in his good column. It's a lazy fly to center. Reichart barely has to move and puts it away two down. And it'll be up to Dick Green now. Green's one for two today. Absolutely, Ben. He just drove in the only run with a homer and threw out the tying run at the plate. So here's Green, man on second. Wheels, you should say, on second. And two down. Chance checks the runner. Throws down to second. Tartable back in easily. Now Chance looks in again. And here's the pitch to Green. 5-4, right-handed, fly to left field and shallow. Kirkpatrick coming on, and he is there to retire the side. So no runs, but an exciting inning. One left on. And Chance has a shutout through seven. Thanks, at least in part, to Rick Reichardt. And there's Franklin Long. No, you didn't miss much. At least not scoring. It's been a very good game, despite the lack of scoring. One to nothing game. My favorite kind of game because of the tension, you know. I mean, every, every batter could potentially tie the game. Or for the team that's leading, give them an insurance run. Bottom of the order for the Angels here. It's Kirkpatrick, Rogers, and Chance. Talbot. Almost matching Dean Chance pitch for pitch. 
Gave up the homer to right card, and that's the only run of the game so far. And now here's Kirk Patrick, 0 for 1 with a walk. Talbot the windup. It's a 6-9 left hand. It's a high fly ball to deep right field. Back goes Stahl. It's gone. Home run Kirk Patrick. Holy cow. He has the power. At least against righties. He's a W against lefties. And I think that's got to be his first home run. Let's check it. Where is Kirk Patrick? Oh, that's his first home run and his first RBI of the season. So Kirk Patrick, oh, his teammates giving him a big hand as he crosses the plate, and they're giving him a little jabbing as well because he finally got his first RBI. <laughs> And here's Rogers. So two to nothing now. Both runs on home runs. And there's activity now in the Kansas City pen as Ralph Terry begins to throw. Well, that's a huge run. I'll tell you something, I try to remain impartial in this replay. Now, if I'm playing my Keeper League games, I'm playing my team, or let's say I'm playing you, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to try to beat you. Or in say, my computer-only replay, 1982, I'm, I, there are certain teams I do root for. But when I started streaming, I made the decision that I do not have that luxury. That's for you guys to root for the teams. It's my job just to bring you the game and try to be as fair and impartial to both teams as possible. And it's, I like it. It's different for me. Here's Rogers now 0 for 2. Talbot into the wind. Pitch to Rogers, a 5 7 left handed. That's a base hit into right field. And Talbot showing signs of tiring here now in the seventh. <clears throat> Dean Chance will come to bat. He's an A bunner. They're going to pull the infield in, and he's going to lay it down. He's a B. <clears throat> That'll be a 10 on a B. And it's the force play. Billy Bryan on that like a cat. Fires down to green, covering, and they've got the lead man. So a 2-4 force, and the pitcher's aboard. Ralph Terry is about ready in the Kansas City pen as Shaw stands in. Shaw 0 for 3 today. One away, runner on first. Talbot now from the stretch, takes to Shaw. It's going to be a 2-3 right-handed, grounder to first base. Nice stop by Harrelson. His only play is going to be to Talbot covering. And Dean Chance will go down to second. And here's Jim Fergosi with an RBI opportunity. <clears throat> Two down. Talbot trying to get out of the inning. One more hit or walk will fatigue Talbot. <clears throat> Excuse me. There goes my voice again. And, Franklin, I don't remember. I remember the Halos, but I couldn't tell you what year it was. I'm looking at Ben's last comment, and all I can say, Ben, is, you think? Yes, I've heard the Hawk many times as a broadcaster. Talbot gets his sign. The pitch to Fergosi. 4-9 right-handed. Grounder to short. Campaneras over to Harrelson, and that will do it. And that will do it. What, one run on two hits. An insurance run for the Angels, a big one, and they lead it 2 to nothing. And that will end the day for Talbot, who's due to lead off the eighth.
So we've completed seven here at the Big A. It's California two, Kansas City nothing. And let's check the Angels defensively now as we move to the eighth. Let's move Reichardt to left. And find another center fielder, shall we? I'm going to bring Jose Cardinal into the game. He'll play center. Reichardt will move to left, where he's a 3-9 e plus 1. I could have just as easily replaced Reichardt, but I can't take him out of the game. I just don't have the heart. Cardinal, however, marvelous center fielder. 2-e3 with a minus 2 arm. That'll be the only change. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. Frog in my throat. Yeah, that would be a tough search, I would think, Franklin, because they've had the halo on the uniform in different locations off and on throughout the years. So Talbot will yield to a, for a pinch hitter as we go to the beginning of the eighth here. Talbot's day is done. He worked seven. He only allowed three hits. Unfortunately for him, two of them were home runs. He walked four. Struck out a pair. Terry, who's been warming, is ready, and he'll be coming in. And right now, they need a pinch hitter against Chance. This might be a good chance to use this computer-only Ron Stone, who played in this game in real life. So Ron Stone will make what I'm almost certain is his first appearance of the season. Yes, it is. No, it is not. How about that? He's been in one game. He had one at bat. He was 0 for 1 with an RBI. Interesting statistical combination. Chance smelling the shutout. Six outs to go. Here's Ron Stone to lead it off. Left-handed hitter. Chance into the wind. Pitch to Stone is a 4-2 to the lefty, and he walks him. Chance issues the leadoff walk. Stone, a star. I'm going to have to look up his card on the computer. I can barely read that. Here he is. He's a star 15, although he's automatically caught 9, 10, and 12. Again, with Chance's terrible hold, he'll have to be held on. That would make him a 20. Held on, he's an 18. But with the 9, 10, and 12, and for the, though I, feel, I normally don't say this, but for those of you that don't know, that means he's got nine chances out of 36 to be automatically caught stealing, trying for the lead. So he won't be trying for it. I say that largely for Ben's benefit, who's new to the game. Now, some, of you, some of you might be new to the game. I assume most of you play. And here's Campaneris. Stone taking his lead chance from the stretch. Pitch to Campy, a 1-7 is a fly ball into left field. That's going to be Reichardt now. He's moved over to left, and he'll make the play for the out. 
So Reichardt's all over the place today in the outfield. And now we've done our due diligence with Manny Jimenez. He's going to yield for a pinch hitter. Jimenez 0 for 2 with a walk. He'll likely be replaced by... Well, it could be Chavaria, it could be Hirschberger. It's going to be Chavaria. He played in this game in real life. It's pretty close. So Ossi Chavaria will come off the bench. And pinch hit for Jimenez. Let's check Chavaria's numbers on the replay. He's hitting 267, just 8 for 30, with three runs batted in. Right-handed hitter. He could stay in the game and play left. He's only slightly better than uh, Jimenez. Runner on first, one away from the stretch now. Pitch to Chavaria, a 6-9. Fly ball into center field. That's going to be Cardinal inserted into the game for defense. He backs up and makes the catch for the out. Two away. And here's Billy Bryan, the catcher. Bryan, not a lot of on base, but he has some pop. His one home run earlier this season was a dramatic one. From the stretch, pitch to Brian, a 5-6 left-handed, a triple to 5 on a 6. That's a single 2-star. And Stone will hit into 3rd. So a 2-out single by Billy Bryan. And he represents the tying run in the 8th. Let's see if we can do anything here. They have two other catchers. Yeah, they're going to run for Brian. They're going to bring in Mike Hirschberger, who could also stay in the game in right field and move uh, Stahl over to left. So Hirschberger stretching at first base. He's a star 16. One more hit or walk will fatigue Dean Chance. Hirschberger at 20, held on at 18. And as the tying run, he's going to try for the lead. Needs a 5 or a 6. On a 10, he does not establish a good lead. And here's Larry Stahl. Runners at the corners, two down. Chance trying to get out of the jam, and if he doesn't here, he's most likely out of the game. So here's the pitch to Stahl. It's a 5-9 left-handed swung on and missed strike three. And Chance comes through in the clutch with a huge strikeout to retire the side. No runs, a hit, two left on. And for Dean Chance, the shutout is intact. Change is now for Kansas City. Hershberger will remain in the game in right field, where he's a 2-E8 minus 4. Stahl will move to left, where he's a 2. And the catcher will go in Jimenez's spot where Chavari have added. And that'll be Phil Roof. So Phil Roof, the new catcher. Sweeping changes for Kansas City. 2E6 with a zero. 
This is certainly this is this could this has the potential to confuse me. <laughs> and in comes Ralph Terry to take over on the mound for Kansas City. Terry a three point eight zero ERA over sixty four innings in real life in the replay so far. He's been in three ball games, no record, but a 2.25 ERA in just four innings of work. So Ralph Terry getting loose. I have to update the uh, Kansas City defense here. There we go. And the Angels will send up Knopp, Seaburn, and Rykar to the heart of their order. In the bottom of the eight, they lead by two. Knopp 0 for 3 today. Ralph Terry now ready to work. Here's the windup and the pitch to Bobby Knopp. It's a 4 6 right hander. A double to five on a 17. Knopp will settle for a long single. And he's on to lead off the bottom of the eighth. Not a threat to run. And here's Norm Seaburn. Seaburn 0 for 3. Seaburn has been in a funk all season so far. Terry gets the sign. Now from the stretch. Pitch to Seaburn a 3-5 and he walks him. Ball 4. So Terry puts the first two men on here in the eighth. And here comes Rick Reichardt. Reichardt's been the hero of the game so far. Other than, of course, Dean Chance himself. One for two with a walk. Big home run in the fourth. Two men on, nobody out. Terry from the stretch. Krista Reichardt at 2-7. Comebacker to Terry. He goes down to green to first. Not in time. That'll be a force play. A 1-4 force. Knopp will take third. Seaburn's forced. And runners at the corners and one down. And here's Jackie Warner. Let's check the runner at first. Reichardt a star 15. Terry a plus one, but Roof a zero. So 16 He's a 16. Where did they play the infield in? They trail by two. There's one out. Warner does not hit into double plays. So playing back isn't going to do him any good. They're going to pull the infield in. That would allow Reichardt an automatic lead of 16 if he wanted to go. They're betting he won't, and he won't. Not with Jackie Warner at the plate. Now, if Warner makes out, Cardinal comes up. It's a different story, but right now, they will be infield in. Here's the pitch to Warner on a 111. Struck him out. And that's exactly what Ralph Terry was looking for there. You can see the amount of strikeouts on Warner's card. I don't think there's a ground ball A on there. There is one there. A partial ground ball A on the 17 single to six, and that's it. That's a huge second out for Terry. Now they will hold the runner on and play the infield back. The runner right card is now a 14 held. So if he was planning to steal, he can pretty much forget about that with two down. 
and a runner on third. If there was, if he was the only runner on, I might try it. But with a runner on third, they're going to let Cardinal bat. This will be his first at bat of the game. He comes into the game batting 182, just 10 for 55. He has one homer and eight RBIs. Terry staring in, now from the stretch. Pitch to Jose, a 4-10 right-handed, his catcher's card X. That's going to be Roof, a 2-E-6. So Art is in Kansas City, glad. They don't have Billy Bryan behind the plate right now. And here's the play on a six. Wild pitch and pop out. So a run will score on the wild pitch. Wild pitch charged to Terry. Knopp will come in. And then the pop out to the catcher retires the side. So an insurance run for California on one hit. They leave one. And they take a three to nothing lead to the ninth. And now, of course, this, the big story is Dean Chance. Can he get the shutout? <laughs> He's Franklin, I don't believe they have that in the in the advanced version. I've used it in the Windows game before. And unless you've got unless you've got a 1915 at third, it almost never works. And by 1915, I mean, okay, here's Tartable. He's a 1913. You need that second number to be a 15. And speaking of Tartable, he'll be leading off the ninth. Three to nothing, Angels. I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me this afternoon. The TGIF game. Tartable's one for two with a walk today. Chance trying to complete the ball game. Here's the windup now. And the it's going to be a 2-7 right-handed. Fly to center right in his good column. Cardinal's right there to make the catch. So Tartable flies out to his opposite number, one away. And here's Wayne Causey, the third baseman. Wayne 0 for 3 today. Chance staring in to get the sign. The windup. Pick to Causey, a 5-8 left-handed, a fly ball to center. Cardinal backing up a bit for this one. He's there. And the Athletics are down to their last out in the form of Hawk Harrelson. Chance one out from a complete game shutout. Which would surely earn him the chief Spokane Gary player of the game. Harrelson, one for two with a walk today. Chance gets the sign. Here's the windup. The pitch to the Hawk is a 2-11. Tapper to first. Seaburn, he's going to take it to the bag, and that's the ball game, and it's a complete game shutout for Dean Chance. Three to nothing, Angels, your final. Thank you, guys. Oh, excuse me. Now I'm yawning. <laughs> oh. I may have finally beaten the daylight savings time switch. I got up at a more or less normal time today. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll, I'll have the totals for you here in just a second. Chance, boy. Chance with the win improves to three and two. Your, your Chief Spokane Gary player of the game, clearly Dean Chance. A four-hit shutout.
He walked four. Struck out only three. Talbot takes the loss. Hard luck loss for Talbot. He only allowed three hits himself in seven innings. He drops to two and one. Terry pitched an inning. He gave it the hit and a run. Run on the wild pitch will be unearned, I think. The game will correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I believe that's unearned. And hello, Perry. Yes, I do. What I do is, after the game, I enter this all into the Windows version of Stratomatic, replay the game in the manual entry mode, and it keeps all of the stats. I can show you that here in a second. Let me total things out. Terry, a walk, and a K. So for the Angels, they got three runs on only four hits, no errors. The Athletics were shut out on four hits. They made one error. And that's your final here from the Big A in Anaheim. As the Angels snap a six-game losing streak with a three-to-nothing win. So for that, I'm kind of happy for them. I hate to see anybody lose six in a row. That would be this would have been seven. They improved to five and twelve. Kansas City drops to five hundred, eight and eight. And here I'll give you a little tour there for Perry and everyone. Absolutely, Ben. Honorable mention to Rick Reichart. Okay, there's the there's what I call the crap top. It's a cheapy. That's where I watch the chat. There's my primary laptop, which has my Stratomatic Windows game. You can see pulled up are the individual stats for both of these teams. And then what I will do here in a minute, let's show you here. You'll go into here. 60, so oh, you got to close the stat windows or it doesn't, it'll, you'll face a possible corruption. So I will find this game, Kansas City, California, change it to manual entry. Check the lineups, and then you just enter each play from the score sheet. And presto, the stats are updated. So that's how that works. Oh, definitely, Kenyon, they were due. <laughs> I like how you put the due in quotes. Tomorrow I'll be taking a day off. It's visiting the family day, like I said before, my sister's birthday. But I'll be back. Why won't this come up? I'll be back on Sunday at the usual time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Minnesota Twins at Chicago White Sox. That's going to be Jim Cott on the mound, opposed by John Buzzhart for the Chai Sox. So join me for that Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. Spokane Steve wishing you all a wonderful evening and a fantastic weekend, guys. Have a great weekend. Take care, everybody.